Hello everybody, this is Matt from topbarbeesmn.blogspot.com. Today is Memorial Day, May 26th, so first off, thank you to all of our servicemen who have sacrificed to defend our freedom, especially thinking of my grandpa today who was a navigator and a B-24 liberator in World War II. Anyway, uh, showing you our hives here, this is our Italian hive in the, the standard worry boxes. The activity at the front of the hive here. The bees coming and going. It's about seven o'clock in the evening. It was a warm day today, 80 something degrees. Nice clear skies right now. There's the back of the hive. Again, this top box is pretty much full, and they're coming down. into this box there and over there you can see them coming down so that is good news since they never did that last year and this one again is more the Japanese style so no top bars in any of these boxes here just some crossbars to give it support the comb's just gonna go all the way from the top straight down to the bottom just have some crossbars in there to give it support as it goes down and then cut off the box at the end of the summer if it's if we get a harvest you can see there's nectar and pollen in those cells there this is our carniolan hive this is the one that we got the five frame nuke and built that box to go on top of the standard worry box and hope that they move down there's a lot of activity at the front of this hive too they obviously took to the hive, which is good that they didn't abscond and leave, which I didn't expect they would since it was a nuke, had a laying queen and brood and everything. Um, but it's it's good news that they didn't they didn't leave. Um, I'm gonna go get my veil on and my smoker, and we'll open this one up. Um, see if they've moved down here at all. I don't imagine they have, um, because again, there's in this box, which is wider than a normal nuke box because we made it to fit with our worry so there's five of the Langstroth frames and then I put two empty frames with my worry bars attached to them. I'm, I'm imagining that they've expanded horizontally before they go down. So when we open this up I'm hoping there's going to be comb on these worry bars and then I'll take those if they've put comb on them I'll move them down to this box here. Um, I'm alone today. I have nobody to film, so probably have to do this in stages here. We'll uh, get my veil and smoker and open it up and see in a little bit. All right, so here it is opened up. As I thought, they have not moved down onto these bars yet. They have, however, started putting comb on those side ones. This goes one-handed. This out here. Here, I'll take one out and then show you in a second. Look at how beautiful that is. Almost full. I'm gonna move this down to the bottom. It is not brood though, it's nectar. So, I'm going to move that down to that box to encourage them to move down. Alright, so two of those three empty frames uh, were nice and full of comb like that, uh, which is great. I moved both of those to the bottom. This third one here wasn't, wasn't yet, so I just scooted that over. I'm going to go tie two more, the worry frames I removed from the bottom box, to these two and put them back. Um, so right now they have one, two, three, four, five full Langstroth frames. And down here, the two that we moved, they've got two nearly full Warre half frames. I'm going to let them, so they still have the three empty spots here, I'm going to let them keep expanding sideways and moving those combs down here in an attempt to get them to move down. Um, ideally, you know, they already started filling these up with honey with nectar. Ideally the queen will decide that 
she's running out of room up here. After I get six or eight um, Wore frames or half frames at least started with comb down here I'm gonna start sealing these empty spots off so they can't expand sideways anymore and hopefully the queen will feel kind of the tightness up here and move down Hopefully that's the idea. We'll see if it works. All right, last but not least, fixed these, which worked like a charm. These wood pieces on the side with a little B space here and B space here, B space here, B space here. They didn't put any comb, any propolis on any of this. These in the middle, nice, big, tall, it was coming down to about here, almost full of nice new comb that they drew out. Worked great, so replace the two used um, zip ties this time instead of the uh, twine that was kind of annoying to work with. Zip ties worked a lot better. So I uh, took the two that were drawn out, put them in the worry box, took the empty ones from the worry box, moved them up here. We're going to put these back in and we'll be done and we'll see if we can get them to move down to that box. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and happy Memorial Day.